Hello, my friends. How are you? Happy Monday. I'm just trying to get comfortable because I'm not comfortable. I'm in a different spot again. It is a casual Monday for me. And I just feel, I feel good. My name is Tina, for those of you that don't know who I am, and I am, what am I? <laughs> I channel the angelic realm, I channel the ascended masters, uh, and many star beings that have really been coming through to help each one of us at this particular time on the planet to really unify us at a time of such divide. These high beings are, oof, they are so powerful. And it's an honor to sit in meditation and allow them to fill my energy field and listen to not only receive their healing, but ask what the messages are, not only for myself, but for us as a collective. That's why I come on here so that we can build this community together and have an understanding as to maybe not necessarily why everything's happening, but how to, how to go it and do it together. So I come on Monday, Wednesday with Billy and Friday. And then I pop on at other times uh, when I'm feeling guided. So how was your weekend? Things have been up and down, right? A little bit of a roller coaster. We talked about this Friday. Uh, things bubbling up. I'm not going to go into all the astrological stuff because quite honestly, it's um, <laughs> for me at times it's just exhausting and even more confusing. Uh, let's just say there's many planets that are retrograde and that's great uh we're not gonna blame any of it we're just gonna ride the wave together we talked about this friday as well and um we also talked about slowing down and that's actually what's more important rather than knowing what is squaring this and you know all of that intellectually which is great but to just toss that aside for a moment to slow down and get still and get clear I want to share again to start off our time together, Archangel Jophiel. Hey, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I see you coming on. Hey, beauties. Christina, Heather, Maxie. Hey, Jessica, Sean, Emily. So great to have you here on my little casual Monday. <laughs> hey, Amanda. Yes, slowing down and finding the ease. Thank you. So... We want to be slowing down right now, not only because of what's happening cosmically, but because it's giving us an opportunity and a chance to not only get clear, but to see where we're aligned and where we're not. And when I say where we're aligned, are we aligned in love and are we aligned with the energy of our soul, our spirit that is eternal, or are we aligned in our fear and our circumstances and getting caught up in this whirlwind of cosmic energies because they serve us it serves us it's for us as we invite it in now jophiel getting back to her in some circles she's known as the angel of beauty to help us beautify every aspect of ourselves but even more importantly she's the holy liberator she comes through to help free us to liberate us but also to unify us and i did a little post over on instagram and i shared it over on my business page so if you haven't had a chance to either follow me here on my personal page or um, follow and like my business page, I'm kind of doing an experiment going back and forth on these lives. And then that way you can get notified so that we can come on and be here together. Hey, Scott. Oh, my gosh. I miss you. Um, so in, you know, the stuff going on in the world with just all of this divide and all of, of what we see, it's scary. You know, because there's a lot of hatred in people's hearts. There's a lot of separation. But to point to the finger and to see it as something outside of us is where we all make the mistake. Now, you may not have that level of hatred in your heart or darkness in your heart as what is going on globally or even within our own country. But on some level, you can heal that shadow or that dark aspect of yourself we all have it and that's really where the work is i work on me you work on you you honor all of it that's coming up and you really start to see and feel that we're all one okay it's harder 
when we see the violence and we see the disgusting acts of, um, of, of, of what's happening, but that's even more of a call for you and for me to be in the vibration of holding the oneness, holding the light, and aligning with love. Did you hear Raphael, my cat? He agrees. Yeah, bud. That was perfect. <laughs> You'd think that we rehearsed that. That's what prayer is. Seeing yourself as everyone else. Seeing others as you. It's so important right now. And that's what Jophiel can do when we invite her energy in. She's that warrior within. That is a warrior of light so that we can hold light and love on this planet. And when we slow down, that's the way we can get into that vibrational frequency where we can hold the space for people that don't know any better. We can hold that love for ourselves and for others because it does make a difference. I'm going to just give you a quick quote and then I'm going to jump into the cards. One of the most powerful quotes that I've ever read, I think it was by Martin Luther, uh, one with God is a majority. Okay? One with God is a majority. That means one with love is a majority. Now what does that mean? It doesn't matter all this violence happening, all of this divide of, of race or religion or gender. None of that. It might, it might seem, because the news is only showing that, it might seem that that's all that there is and that it's stronger. But one with love is a majority. So that means when you are so enveloped, aligned with that love in your spirit and in your soul and in your mind, you are more powerful and your vibration is higher and will win out thousands of people that are the opposite. And it may sound crazy, but it isn't. It's the truth because love is all that there is. But we're in and on the earth plane where we live in duality, so that's how we learn, by the contrast, by the pain, by the hardship, by what we see. It's what do we do with it? We go deeper in that love and we shine it out because one with love is the majority. This is the thing though, any part of you that isn't feeling that, you're adding to the collective of the hate, which is why only you can work on you, and I, I, I can't make you, I can help you see a different perspective. But you can only work on it yourself, just as the way I can have to, I have to heal that which comes up in my heart. Rage came up this past weekend. Rage. But that's good, because what did the rage make me do? Go into meditation and try to have a compassion for why people are the way they are and can have such darkness in their hearts. But I'm not in their shoes, so I can just send love, hold love, and love them. It's not easy. It's practice and it's work, but it's what we must do to unify. It's, it's the only thing that will work. The only thing that will work is to be love, to share love, to love, especially when it's not easy. It's easy to love our friends and our family, but where the real work is and where your soul and your spirit expands is loving the very people that hurt you, that hurt others, and that are in such a base of darkness that they don't even know what love is. They need it. They just don't know it. I had no idea that I was going to say any of that, but I guess we needed to. I guess I needed these star angelic beings to come through and, and, and share that message. Ah, <sighs> Well, I hope you feel it and I hope you vibe with it. Um, please comment if you do. So let's get into our cards and see how they factor for today and our week. I did a different thing this week as I was guided. I'm just going to move some of this over. So from two different decks, we've got the Magic Prayer card. Let's take a look at it. But it was in reversed. And then we had Foundations and Achievements. So what does that mean? Well, when the Magic Prayer card is in reversed, <clears throat> excuse me, that's like you saying that your way is the only way. So it does tie into what we were just saying, right? Your belief is the only belief, you know? But to take it to a more personal level, if your way is the only way, meaning you have a certain vision or something you want to bring through, 
and you're just holding steadfast to that, and you're not leaving room for spirit, for the angels, for your soul to really co-create this vision with you, then you're limiting yourself. You're not trusting that spirit's vision for your life is so much grander than yours. Because you still, even though you're a spiritual being, you're in this human body, and so you are still limited. Spirit, the angels, God, love, is unlimited. So you can't have it be your way is the only way. It has to be, okay, this is my vision, and I feel it, and I see it, and I'm grateful for it. But I'm leaving some wiggle room, trusting that it's going to be even better than this. And it might take me this way, and then this way. But don't get scared, because that's just the experience that you need so that the vision can be even grander than what you realize. Okay? So what do you do? Um, you really open up and trust, because then you're building a solid foundation. If your way is the only way, your foundation is rocky. It's not stable. Does that make sense? So you have to release a little, release some of that control, give spirit room to bring in the magic. Then you have a solid base. And look at that. There is a rainbow. There is a family. And look at that word, achievement. Okay? Next cards. Another reverse. Here we got into the unknown. Sorry, you guys. You know I always struggle with this. Into the unknown was reversed. And it was with moving on. So look at this card. She's blindfolded. We've talked about this before. The unknown is so much scarier in our minds. So what this means is we need to move on and away from our fears, from up here, from our doubts, from comparing ourselves to others, uh, from playing small. Again, we want to be an explorer and an observer, watching all these things that are happening and riding the wave, riding, riding the roller coaster through all of this cosmic stuff that's here to support us. The reason why um, Into the Unknown was reversed is because we're getting in our own way. So when that blindfolds on, can we go inward and see and trust what's inside rather than constantly looking to see what everybody else is doing? It just veers you off your track. So we're moving away. And how this coincides with all the cosmic stuff is that the stuff is coming up for us to look at. And as it comes up, we look at it, we love it, we bless it, and we let it go. It may not always look that graceful, but who cares? You are where you are. Trust that. Okay? We're really moving here. Remember, again, August is a power month. All of this that's happening is preparing us. We have a solar eclipse coming up. So all of this, maybe the dust hasn't settled yet, but just honor, love, unify. Um, don't go in blindfolded without seeing. See from the inner space so that you can zoom out and, and, and see the connection and the divinity in everything that you're going and growing through. And then lastly, it works so perfectly. We've got wide open, and this was not reversed, See her on a cliff, looking at the stars, and then we have destiny, which is so perfect. Okay, so what do these mean? Well, wide open, you have a uniqueness. Your gifts and your abilities and everything up until now that flows in and around your energy field is unique. So use it. Don't think that something's wrong with it. Don't feel like you're not intuitive enough or powerful enough or all the enoughs. Enough of that. <laughs> Seriously. Wide open means that you have gifts and abilities that right now people are lining up to work with you. Not anybody else. But if you don't shine your light and you don't honor that your uniqueness is a message that others need to hear, and you're always falling under the radar, comparing yourself to others, and your light is, it's like blowing out a candle. That's how I see it. Your destiny is that you came here on this planet at this particular time 
to be great. That doesn't mean you're always going to feel great. But your greatness is inside. And so you honor all the things that are coming up and realize, you know what? I'm different. That's amazing. You know what? Uh, I, I see a feel an angelic being that no one's talked about. Great. You talk about it. Maybe you got a message from something cosmically or something from somebody else that is different. Good. Don't think that you're wrong. There's information that wants to come through you. But only when you can be in that space of love, slowing down. We just had the whole meteor shower that I talked about Friday. Visualize that and invite it in. And then see that that energy of the cosmos is vibrating in every cell. The stars, when you look up, that's God's way of looking back at you. It's your mirror. You came here to be powerful, to utilize all of your gifts and abilities at every point. You don't have to be anywhere else other than where you are now. So celebrate your uniqueness. Celebrate all the other shit that might be coming up that you don't like because it's only coming up so you can be more great, so that you can create more space, and so that you can understand what other people are going through. That's why it's happening, so that you can expand. Okay? So, that is your angelic star forecast, <laughs> star cast, whatever you want to call it. Um, just really be with yourself. Love where you're at. Stop trying to be somewhere else. And know that if you haven't gotten to where you want to be, maybe you're not ready yet. What if, whew, I just got emotional when I, that was a big one. Maybe you're not ready yet, but it's not a bad you're not ready. Maybe, when I say maybe, I believe this is what's happening. There's so much happening behind the scenes preparing you. And if it was to happen now, whatever that happen is, it's not the right time. So can you trust that? Can you trust that your angels and guides are whispering in your ears, they're holding you up, they're pushing you forwards at times, and they're pulling you back at times? And then your role is to just stay convicted in your uniqueness. Celebrate that. Honor it. Love yourself. And just keep moving forward and seeing everyone else in the world and everything else happening as something more for you to grow into more of that love. Not go the opposite. It's too easy. It's too easy to go, oh, what kind of world do we live in? No, it's what kind of world do we live in? Oh, there's so much love and I came here to be that love warrior. And here I am just going to go. And it doesn't mean that I'm not going to cry or get angry at times and get into rage as to what's happening. But I can just then become more an embodiment of love because love is what always wins. Love is the answer. One with love is the majority. So there it is. Yes, I love, I look right up. Treat yourself like a queen. Thank you, Judy. Ooh, I'm getting a little emotional just in gratitude because I thought I was going to come on for 10 minutes. Sometimes I feel bad if I go too long because it's like, oh, it's too long. But um, I'm feeling what you're feeling too which is why I sit in meditation and say myself sometimes, wow, this is a scary world. There's so much shit going on. And then it's like, that's why I go within. And then what a joy and an honor to be able to share with you. Sometimes I don't even know what's going to come through. And so I just really feel it today. <laughs> so thank you for being a, a part of this with me. Um, yes, I'm take caring of me. Um, and treat yourself like a queen. Thank you, Judy. And a king. Treat yourself like the god and goddess that you are. Okay, you guys? So I love you. I'm grateful for you. If you liked this message, um, please share it, especially when I talked in the beginning about just, you know, really being one in light of everything that's happening. And um, if you need a personal session, reach out. I'm here to work with you to get deep for where you're at. I'll have other classes and stuff up. Remember, too, to like my business page and follow and hear on the personal because I go back and forth coming on live, okay? Mm. Peace, blessings, love, joy. I hold you in prayer and I send it to you. And as I speak, I hope that you hear, the, hear and feel those, those healing vibrations, okay? Have a beautiful uh, rest of your Monday and I will see you Wednesday.